Almost forgot to start recording. It's the interregional, and I'm gonna think about playing my match more than I will about talking commentary, but I at least want them documented for anyone interested in watching, and I'll try and throw some commentary in there here and there. Would have done an intro if I thought about it. First match against Totoa. I'm gonna ban Adoro, because Adoro kinda wrecks my team. But there's also other big threats here. Um, Tolkien's also a big problem, Naga's a problem, Taranax annoying because of traits, and my team is actually pretty toxic weak to Gurunder. I'm predicting a tire, uh, Tolkien Gurunder lead, but I can't say for sure. I'm probably going to pick Tutsu if it's not banned. Tutsu's overall good. Gives tag team bonus, which is what I primarily use it for. You can't easily pick Naga because I have some natures and Scaravolt and stuff. I really want to pick Tuvine, but I have to scare him off of picking the Tolkien first. Tyranax okay, it's not great for me. Fix Gario here, I'm assuming it's not Trait Knock. It's probably Fright Knock then. Because you wouldn't pick a Gario to lose autonomy. It's not even very good against my team. I'd be a little surprised if he picks it. Brock's also a little strange. I can't even touch my Tutsu. Alright. Uh, Soil Steam plus Embers kind of melts Tuvine. But I would get a double Nox Bomb off on the Tyranek first. If I pick two Vine. I might want to switch my idea of a ban to to Garunder, depending on what he chooses here. Because my my attempts to deal with Garunder are primarily two Vine, Sword of Hazrat, and Gario. My attempts to deal with Tolkien are still around, but I know that every time I don't ban it, it's a huge problem for me. I think I'm still gonna ba <clears throat> I'm still gonna ban the Tolkien, just because I have double natures, and I don't want to be forced to pick Scaravolt this game because he still has Turok available. I am gonna pick. Saipat though. Saipat's good damage into both of these with its melee type. Also a physical type to deal with Garunder and it completely walls Gario. I'm going to need Saku to un to get a Frond Whip off to finish off Naga and also it deals with Turok. Also I'm going to pick Broccolum. Broccolum deals with these two. Gets neutral damage off against Garunder and the Camouflage. Nox, like, prox, Nox Bomb Prox Camouflage, which gives me an evasion. Stress is high, <laughs> but it's also like, I, I, I'm i the type of person that enjoys stressful situations to an extent. I played a ton of League in my <laughs> League of Legends, so. Okay, so it is Fright Nax. We see the Gario with that. Marbles doesn't proc, a bit sad. And my bait is going to be useless. It also means that he doesn't have Soil Steam on this Gario. If he does, he's kind of screwing himself over. Because Gravel Bag. What we could see is a swap to Garunder to take the double Nox Bomb. Which I wouldn't be surprised about. It would be a really good play for him. But I would also still have two vine on the board against Garunder. Neither Nagais or Chimur Yeah, he just stays in, eats it. No Nutbar, no Nutbar. Ah, shoot. Nutbar makes the unstabbed Nox Bomb. 
be a four hit KO, which is super unfortunate. So there's the gravel bag canceling out s soil steam. Yeah, that does, instead of doing half my health, it does maybe a quarter. But my bait is gone. There's embers. I would love to get a show off on Tutsu right now. But if I do that, then Tyranac gets another hit off. What I could do instead is I could high toe the Tyranac and then swap to one of my natures. Like Broccolum here. And then threaten the Gary on next turn. And I can keep two vine in the back for Garunder then. So that's definitely alright. I think that was a bit of a mistake from him. I think the pressure is getting to everyone <laughs> with this tournament here. I'm actually not sure. I I think Totoa is Japanese, so it's this might be a really bad time zone for him as well. I don't. I'm not sure exactly how his time zone relates to mine, but it, I think it's like really late at night for him, or super early morning, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. So Tyranak is now in range to die from another Nox bomb from Tutsu. See the soil steam. That's. I'm surprised he's staying in and using soil steam. Hey, it's pretty free Nox bomb, and I can resin trap as well. Uh, I should actually pull up the items because we. This is an open info tournament. This Chimurian is holding bait, so it wouldn't get trapped if he was to swap it in. Garunder does have energy drink. Nox Bomb Resin Trap is going to be my play, though. He can only swap Garunder into one of the slots. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Garunder and Chimurian here. But then Broccolim has Inner Spirit up and can just nuke the Chimurian to another planet. So there's the Chimurian. Problem is that if he keeps the Tyranac alive, it's not going to help a whole lot. Oh, actually, okay. If he kept it in, it, the bait actually would not have... No, I would have killed the Tyranac first, so the bait still would have procced. I was thinking frightening. <laughs> that would have been interesting. My Broccolum does have a little bit of speed in it, so I can outspeed a base speed Garunder. Question mark? Where's the bait? That's a bug. Um, I wonder if he's going to report that. Uh, unless Frightening works so that any time... No, that's definitely a bug. That's really unfortunate news for Totoa. But it's kind of up to him to report it. I like being the nice guy. But this is going to be a time where I just click green circles. Because trapping this Chimurian in here is actually really important. Saipat is, isn't really doing much for me this game. It's basically just a counter to Gario, but I have two natures for that, so it's kind of whatever. He uses Clay Ball. Very interesting. Not sure what he was predicting to come in there. Just trying to get a speed drop on Tutsu. My Tutsu is specced to outspeed. Oh, you know what? It was just so that... He would be able to double my Broccolum this turn. With a Nox Bomb. Because his, his Nagais will go first, Beta Burst, and then Nox Bomb will finish me off. I'm going to swap to Saku, 
And I'm actually going to bring in Tuvine as well. As well, I think. No, Tuvine will be really good later. Let's see, Beta Nox. I'll bring in Tutu. I know it's basically just sacking it, but my other times are, are like I just need one nature alive for Gario. Tyranax in range to die from anything in one hit, and so I'm, I'm just basically keeping my Garunder counters alive. Tutu should be able to live the Nox Bomb here. I'm just gonna get a lifeful sap off on Saku. I really don't think the Nagais is staying in. And then he can just finish off my Tutsu with whatever he wants to. Don't really have any options. I guess I could just boomerang. Eh. I'm gonna frond whip because if Tutsu goes down here. And I bring in two vine and he really doesn't have anything. Yeah, I mean the, the swap was pretty obvious. It's more of a matter of does he kill Saku here? He does, he does get damage on Saku. So that is unfortunate. So I can take one more Nox Bomb, I could, Nox I could Boomerang Tyranac and then just get some more Chip on Garunder, but that doesn't really help me. Because he can just bring in Nagais. A little bit risky. I must have miscalked. You know, I definitely miscalked, yeah. That's really bad, actually. Render is running out of stamina. Oh, man, sucks that that's on recording. <laughs> I get high stress math is not a good plan. I definitely should have lifeled though. That would have helped me survive for sure. I don't think this is the end of the world. I just double into the Nagai slot. Render only gets one more attack off. He Nagai's Furies to finish off my two vine, then he doesn't finish off Broccolum. He can't swap because then Gario dies.
Yep, no. Okay. Grass goes down. Oh, GG. So I got Totoa in round one. That is really, really good. <laughs> GG's Totoa. Oh my goodness, my the adrenaline is pumping, I'm telling ya. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna wait here for him to send round two. Uh, that... The, the Chimurian bait thing really screwed over that match. Unless it's just frightening doesn't interact in the way I thought it did previously. Gotta make sure I pick the right team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for anyone wondering, I, I won the coin flip to choose, or so that I would invite the first game. That's how it was decided by a coin flip, since multiple regions, it would be difficult to choose what place everyone was in. It's my Gary. Oh, very interesting, considering he's got two natures and a water, two water types. <sighs> I'm gonna ban the Adoro, but it's been really good. Okay, so there's there's Tolkien. So I can bring Psypat. Cypat's got Schween's Horn and Nox Bomb. It can deal with Tolkien pretty well. But if he picks Tyranak and cancels out just because it's Frightnak, then I'm in a bad spot. But if he does, then I would want to pick Scaravolt. I could pick Scaravolt anyways, but then I'm facing off against his two Earth types. It's not so bad, though. Because it's good against Nagais. Can four times Tremurian after it gets hold off. I don't think a T-Strike plus the Nox Bomb would kill a Turok. Otherwise, I would just double into that slot. Also, like, since... It, like I said, it's open info, so he knows that my Saipat has Schween's Horn. He doesn't know it's full move set. Saipat doesn't really have a good water move but until turn 3 without uh, Schween's Horn Nox Bomb. I don't like doing this, but I am going to ban the Tyranak, just because I have to keep my item. So it means getting rid of the Earths is going to be really important, but I still have multiple options to do that with Saku and Tutsu if he bans Broccolum here. Banning Hazrat would be perfect for me. Saku's a good ban for him, for sure. Yeah, because that has Frond Whip. That means I, my Scaravolt really has to be... I have to be careful about it. I think that my Psypack can live in Nox Bomb Windburst turn one, but I can't say for sure. Not that I think he's keeping the Tolkien in. <laughs> I have to pick two vine here to deal with the Grunder. And Brocklum's going to give me more value than Tutsu, just because it hits these two plus either of these super effective. He's thinking, if he picks Gario, I pick Tutsu. If he picks Tuvine, I... Yeah. If he picked Tuvine, or Tremurian, I would probably pick Tutsu. Or uh, Hazrat, because four times fire weakness. That's one last thing he has. He actually doesn't have anything to eat an electric move now. To swap into. So Scaravolt's good to stay on the field.
best thing to eat an electric move is now a Gario. Which turn one will work. I mean, I, I could just stay in, T-Strike the Tolkien, and then predict the attack on Psypat and swap in Tuvain. I'll do that. Could swap into Brocklum as well, though, and just call the, the Tolkien swap. And then I'd be set up for Gario. Might do that. My Psypath's fastest thing on the field, so that makes sense it would swap first. Please swap your token for Gario, please. Please. Yes. <laughs> I was going to be so sad if I did the double swap into a two fire weeks. Oh. And then guess wrong. But this is the high level tournament. You know that these players are going to be making the best moves possible. So you can make horrible moves and plan against them. Yep, and then Tuvine eats the Nox Bomb. If that went to Brocklin, that also wouldn't have been cool. I think that's Kip in the stands. <laughs> and Grunty and mm, the hairstyles. Okay. I gotta focus on the game. <laughs> Thanks for the support though, guys. <laughs> Now I just double the... I mean, I could... Yeah. I'm just gonna let the Gurrender be. I'm gonna kill the Gario. My Tuvine is faster than my Broccolum. So the Nox Bomb will break the Evasion, and then I can kill the Gario. But the other option is I could have one-shot, or doubled in Gurrender and killed that as well. Oh man, I am getting these predictions of mine are on point. Oh my goodness. Uh, so n now I have a really bad board. But that's one of his Earths down. Broccolum has Inner Spirit up. He finds Bait is gone, which is a bit sad. Now I would get burned from the Tolkien. Why did I even bother killing the Gario? I guess for Scarable, but he's got Turok left. My guess is this next play, he's going to do something a little bit crazy. Like swap his Tolkien, even though it's on a positive board. Just because he's got to try and make up, or he's got to catch up a little bit. I'm not sure, though. He doesn't want to swap into Geiss. His Tolkien would not... Oh my goodness, he swept into Geiss. Oh, well, this is the crazy thing I was talking about. Tuvine's more important to me than Broccolum. I'm going to swap in Scaravolt here. And then I'm going to Plague the Nagais. Actually, no, we're going to Soul Shout the Tolkien. No, we're going to Plague the Nagais. Or Soul Shout the Nagais. No, we should have Plague the... Okay, whatever. I was predicting a swap to Turok to eat the CPG double in. He just stays in on both. Uh. 
There's Fiery Soul so the Brocklin doesn't die. Mascara Vault's calced to underspeed Nagais under Decidora, so it can't use Nagais Fury, but it could use Psy Surge. He'll probably swap in Turok here. He'll probably Psy Surge and then swap in Turok. Turok gets the hold off on Rockfall so that he can kill Scaravolt. I would mean. I want to swap in Tutsu. Oh, he swaps out in a geist. Did I fear? Or did I electric storm? I really hope I did. Uh, I'm starting to. I'm starting to question myself now. I guess I, I'm panicking a little bit more than I was hoping. Oh, he double swaps. Okay. He didn't want to be on the bol board with Scaravolts. So this is Grunder's third turn on the field, so it does have Paizo up. It also has Clay Ball, so he could use that against Scara. Yeah, I should have plagued the Nagais. It would be just about dead and die to anything. I tried to overpredict. Tutu can eat the the Paizo. Okay, maybe not. It's synergy. Eight health. Turok. Used Rockfall, thank goodness. If it used not Rockfall, I would have died. But it lives. <laughs> Which is bad. Because now, well, no, this is fine. Because he, to kill my Tutu before I kill his Turok, he would have to Turbine. Got a Nox Bomb. Cover for swaps, yeah. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot about the Clay Bowl. I mean, that makes me slower, but not slow enough that it really matters. Bring in Broccolum. I can eat the Rockfall, get Camouflage. And CPG should kill Garunder, it'll kill Nagais, it'll just be a matter of if he swaps into Tolkien. And if he swaps into Tolkien, I would want to just kill it with Thunderstrike. And sack the Scaravolt here. Yeah, unfortunate. He's stone ball, not camouflage. Good play by him. I 
I just need some chip on this Tolkien so I can finish it off with a Venomous Claws from Saipat if need be. Brock should die if it attacks again. I've made so many throws this game. So high stress, both of us are crumbling under the pressure. He attacks Broccolim, it does kill. I'm faster than his Turok. Not sure what he clicked. He rested. So Nox Bomb will kill Tolkien now. Or I can do this. This seems safe. He's running out of reserve team time, so am I. So both of us have to make our moves faster, otherwise we're going to be stuck with rests, and that would kind of throw the game at this point. Oh, my speed drop is gone. Fiery Souls, Scaravolt, that's good. He brings in Naga. Possibly hoping a Psy Surge kills. I'm not sure if it does. I don't have the slightest clue. Naga's got a really high special attack stat. He swaps Tolkien. Not sure what he clicked on his Nagais, but that's really good for me. I think that might be game. Because I Nox Bomb Tolkien here. Even if he burns. If he burns me, he would have to double in to kill. And I just T strike. Juvine has more than enough health to deal with Garunder alone, so I just need to make sure I click the right moves. Nox Bomb, I am not seized. T strike. Tolkien. Tolkien goes down. Okay, um. Oh my goodness. What a crazy first round. GG's to Toa. GG. GG. Oh my goodness. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go check out mentally until my next match. Uh, sorry if the commentary wasn't great. I'm just I was trying to focus on the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.